Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at making a mold off of an STL file and this is how I um, go about doing this. So let's go ahead, ah, excuse me, so let's go ahead and get started. But first, this video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for rapid prototyping from 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, electronic PC board design and manufacturing. PCBWay has globally competitive prices and to get an instant quote for your project, sign up for an account and drag and drop your file. You will get an instant quote and two to three days you will get a firm quote. For your 3D printing needs or other rapid prototyping needs, check out PCBWay.com. Okay, here we go. So I'm first I'm gonna just import a model, somewhat of a model that I made um, of a fuselage body. It's not great looking, but it should work fine. Okay, and we want to open it up. And excuse background noise, it's my printer running again. And here it is. Okay. Here we have the fuselage. And we can see that it is a mesh. Now to convert this into a solid body, it probably would take a long time to do this, but uh, we're not gonna do that. So first thing I'm gonna do um, to make a mold of this, I'm going to create a sketch on this plane here. And first I wanna make sure this is centered up and it is centered. And use a two point rectangle, and start from here. From here. And click OK. Go ahead and finish sketch. And now I'm going to extrude this. And I'm going to change this to uh, symmetric. Okay. And pull this out here. And click OK. Now we have the fuselage inside of here and to see that, what I'm gonna do here is come over here and drop the opacity level down to 60 so we see that inside of there. And also I'm going to split this in half. So turn on the origin and I'm going to split body. This is a body to split. And a splitting tool is going to be this plane in here. Turn this off for a second. That. And select OK. Now we have two halves here, left half and a right half. And this here is the left half. Change this to left. Oops, misspelled left. And change this to right. Right one here, bring the opacity back up to 100%. And this, turn this side off and turn the mesh back on. Okay, and turn this up to 100% as well. All right, now we have that. Now what we need to do is just convert this into a mesh, this um, mold body. So turn this off and come up here to mesh and select tessellate. And we select this and click OK. OK, now this is a mesh. 
as you can see, this here. By this right here is a mesh. So we turn this on, or excuse me, not this, we turn the um, fuselage on, and we have that. Then come up to modify, and click combine. The target body is this back here, and the tool body is this. And we click OK. And it does its thing. And you can see now we have that cut out. That's a mesh. Now, what we do here now, this left half here, we're going to, let's see what, um, Find it here again. We're going to convert mesh into a solid body. And turn off um, this piece. Or excuse me, this whole thing. I thought the fuselage was on and it's not. And just um, click OK. And it does its thing. Go back to the solid's body. Now you can see this is a solid body now. And that's our mold. And now what you can do is cut this up or split it up. So to um, be able to print it and just create a sketch on this plane here. And we're just going to use the line tool. And finish sketch. Now we can come to split body. This is a body to split. This is our splitting tool, the line here. And click OK. Now we have a top half and a bottom half of it. And turn the sketches back on. These here. And split body again. This is the body. And select this. Okay. Now split body again. Select the bottom half. And these. And click OK. OK. Now this is all split up. We can turn the sketches off. And here's our mold. And you're going to do the same thing for the other half, just what I did here. Um, as far as um, cutting everything out of it to make the mold, um, I did this one half. You'll do the same thing. Or what you can do is just leave the, um, this as solid. Instead of splitting it in half that I, like I did, you could just left it solid and then just use this to cut it all out so you won't have to do the same process again um, on the other half of it. So now we've got this mold here and we have separate pieces of it. Let's take one piece here. One second before I do that, I want to open up uh, Creality Print. Also, if you're um, new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Doesn't cost anything. And it really helps my channel grow. Okay, so back to the mold here. Now, 
Let's measure something here. I just want to see how big these pieces are. Oops. Spec measure. Okay, that's 912 millimeters. So this is quite big. So what I need to do if, is make that smaller. As it is right now, this is almost nine, millimeter, nine meters long, which is quite huge. So, create a sketch again on this plane here. And I'm gonna create another line from here to here. Then I'm going to this line, this line, I want to be 200. Okay. And cancel this. Turn the sketches back on. And now I want split body. This is the body to split. And this is the splitting tool and click OK. And we have the one piece here, which now I'm going to save this as a mesh. Save it to my desktop and it is left one, two. Save that. Close this. Back here, file, open. And it was on my desktop. And it's this piece. Here, I believe, open this. Nope, that's not it. Go back. Left one, two, open. Nope. That is the piece and it's gigantic. So what we're gonna do, delete that. And enter it again, open file. And that was left one, two, open that, open, and click yes. Okay, and then it just auto scaled it for me. And that's the one piece right there of the mold. And you just 3D print that. So, yeah. So anyway, that's how um, I would um, take an, an STL file and make a mold from it just that easy. And you can scale the STL file once you get it in, um, in here. And um, to scale it, you just select scale. But you would have to be in the surface, excuse me, mesh here. Then... Um, select scale mesh, and then you can make it smaller or bigger, um, the size you need it to be. And um, yeah, so it's just, just that simple how to do that. And um, if you have any questions about this, just leave them down in the comments or contact me on my Facebook group or my Patreon site. Both are called Cad Bill Fly RC. And um, if you like this video and my other videos, go ahead and click that like button. And also, um, once again, I invite you to join my Facebook group, Cadville Fly RC, and my Patreon site, Cadville Fly RC. And also, once again, I want to make this my full-time job teaching you guys stuff like this, how to do stuff like this. And um, so if you can, just hit that subscribe button. Or if you can, uh, become a paid member over on my Patreon site. 
And um, this was a question from one of my subscribers. He wanted to know how could he make a mold off of a existing STL file. So this is how you do that. Not difficult to do. So yeah. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. And I will catch you in the next one. Subscribe for more.